Hey, good morning. It's Monday morning here in Cypress, Texas. And 14th of November. So, uh, kind of interesting. This weekend, uh, I went to the Trainers Academy for WSB and, um, San Antonio, Texas, <laughs> and uh, while I was there, um, there was a, uh, well, I, I rode with these two uh, Ethiopian guys, and uh, one of them is a blogger for the Ethiopian community. He's got like, um, like five million, uh, followers on TikTok. And, uh, so I learned a little bit about, uh, using TikTok to market social media. Um, basically, you a little talk about you know whatever you're marketing and uh, I was thinking you need to like direct them to a capture page right well he's like no you just you know ask him to to like your uh like your video and then you can track their uh, their profile through their like I'm like oh that's interesting alright so then these guys one this this guy starts telling me all about like all the political strike drive. there's actually genocide going on in Ethiopia nobody's talking about and what it is is they believe so for 3,000 years this uh, certain tribe uh, in Ethiopia they believe that they are descendants of the union the child it was born between uh, Solomon and, and uh, the Queen of Sheba. And uh, I'm like, oh, that's interesting how that child was uh, when, looked just like Solomon, and had blonde hair and blue eyes. And uh, the... Uh, how he looked just like, you know, King David. All his other kids didn't look just like him. But this guy looked just like him. All right. And uh, how he took the Ark of the Covenant, and the Ark of the Covenant is actually in Ethiopia. I'm like, oh, that's not what I... Maybe there was more than one. I've heard there's more than one. Because they found in another one in Gagatha, which is the, um, you know, the skull rock you know, that was, that Christ was crucified on. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very interesting how that uh, worked out. And then they, 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 you know, they set themselves apart from from other uh, black Africans, right? So anyways, that was interesting. So then yesterday at church, um, 
the apostle talks about these Ethiopians <laughs> and their claim, you know, to be uh, descendants of uh, Solomon, right? And that's something and interesting. The uh, It, it fascinates me how the apostle he, he, he really really knows the scriptures and that he can be in the New Testament and follow it directly into the Old Testament and unlock something new uh, he was right where to go to find the uh, evidence of something, right? It's really something else. You know, and I, I never, all the times I read the Bible, I never realized that that God possessed um, uh, Moses like he did. Right? And, uh, the uh, and so the Ten Commandments are actually the Word of God um, through Moses, and that they mean something different. When you understand the Hebrew meaning, it has a significantly different meaning than we think it does. Okay. And, the, you know, when, when Christ talks about the dead letter of the law, he's saying that uh, he's not, see, everybody else misinterprets that, that uh, they, you know, we're of the New Testament. We don't need to, we're not held to the Old Testament. Well, what he's saying is not when it comes to the actual two-dimensional letter, the Greek translation, but when you look at the the Hebrew, it's got a whole different meaning, you know, a whole different meaning, and uh, a lot of things that seem real brutal when you, when you, when you dissect it and see the Hebrew meaning, you know, it's not, I mean, it doesn't mean what you think it means. You know, the, um, to destroy is meaning to destroy their mindset. And, uh, you know, fire is actually meaning revelation or teaching directly from, from God or the apostle. Okay. And that's when you when you just understand those simple little things, it turns everything upside down. Right? It's amazing. Uh, but just like in Revelation, when you understand that the angels are us when we have uh, less of us and more of God through reading the scriptures and understanding the scriptures we become those angels and the battle you know against the enemy is not with sword and gun and, you know rockets and missiles it's the teaching All right, and then uh the uh, and we don't need to worry about if we're good enough to you know deliver this word. We just gotta let the spirit of God work through us, and we'll be perfect. And uh, and it's all teaching that you know only Christ was teaching. Perfect was you know. <laughs> Only, only, only 
was the only one who could follow the law perfectly was Jesus. That's what made him the Christ, right? Well, what they didn't mean was, you know, perfect via the letter of the law. It was perfect in the understanding of the law. Isn't that something? And, uh, and that's what you get when you understand the Hebrew meaning. All right. I'm trying to get a mo get on this going on today. So I'm going to get my run going, get my workout in, get back, get showered, get dressed so I can get ready to go to the office and get some business taken care of. All right. Have a good day.